good for overgrown shrubs. And um, I just like driving around doing it for free. A couple of people have been asking, well, how do you decide on which house you're going to go to and cut the shrubs for free? Well, I just look for properties that are overgrown and maybe haven't been, you know, cut for a whole year, two years. I'll probably go up and knock on the door and talk to the person. Most of the time, they're uh, they're pretty nice about it. But occasionally, you know, the the person just doesn't want help, so you have to just go on to the next house. Hey, so I was noticing from the road that your shrubs look a little high. And How I was, did you see my shrubs from the road? I've got my driveway's over a thousand feet long. I keep a pair of binoculars in the car, and I was just watching from the road. That's a little bit weird. I do this for like a YouTube thing, and so I mean, normally YouTubers keep binoculars in their car. Well, if you want to trim them, go ahead. Okay, alrighty, man. So, we got the permission from the owner. We're gonna walk around and trim the shrubs and uh, we'll go from there. So basically today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the Milwaukee M18 and we're gonna use a high output HD 12 amp hour battery on it. And we're gonna put that against the Shandawa, the AHS 231. This is an older unit, but it's commercial grade short handled hedge trimmer all right so i prefer to use the still synthetic oil mix at a 50 to 1 ratio it's full synthetic i'm using 100 percent gasoline and the reason i like the steel mix is because it smells like a yankee candle so the advantage of the uh, electric systems is there's no mess you just take this battery Snap it on, and it's ready to go. Right here, I've got the Shindawa AHS-231. This is an older unit. What's cool about it is it's got an articulating head. So it'll go 90 degrees that way. Probably. It's not 90 degrees on that one. Maybe about, what do you think that is? What would you say, Josh? Maybe 180. No, it's a little bit more than that. What about maybe 190 on that one? So if this was, it'll almost do 180 on it. So gas powered, 22.5 uh, cc motor and uh, it's just very comfortable to use. You can uh, just manipulate it all the way around. It's very well balanced. <laughs> you just gotta get the right balance point. Might be like, like right here somewhere. So it's more balanced like right there. Uh, but it, it feels good in your hands. It's not gonna wear your shoulders out when you're using it. And, uh, it's just, uh, we'll get started. We'll use this one first, and then we're gonna use the Milwaukee next. So one thing I always recommend is using ear protection when you're using a gas-powered two-stroke weed eater. They're always pretty loud. There's a gnat. Just so when you get older, you can still hear what people say about you. Make sure you're in the on position. That's very important.
Got any WD-40? Okay. So with the ear protection, it's a good idea, just because of the volume or how loud one of these units is. And it's going to be at head level most of the time when you're using it. We're going to put a little WD-40 on this blade just to lubricate it. It's got plenty of grease on it. It does have two grease fittings, one on the gearbox here and one here. Okay, I want to apologize for the wind in case there's wind noise. So this is the Milwaukee. So it's quite a bit longer. It does have like a little cushion grip right here. And uh, it's, it's heavy on the front. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little heavy on the front. Pull the scabber off. This one too, looks like it has about the same size opening, about one inch opening on the um, blades itself. And this one also has a pretty good range of motion. So you pull this little lever down and you can go. It's probably got more range of motion than this Indawa, to be honest. You got 90 degrees both ways. And then you just make sure that little lever locks right back in right there and you're good to go. This one's pretty nice because you don't really have to wear ear protection with this one. You got a little lever you push down and you got the trigger. Pretty quiet. <laughs> no mess and pretty quiet. We'll see how long it lasts when we're doing these shrubs. I do actually feel some fatigue in the arm from using this one on this uh, right arm. I'm going to round them, and it's pretty easy to do that too. We're going to use this shindaba just because it has a shorter shaft on it. It's easy to do.
so Shindawa, no problem going through that stuff, up to three eighths of an inch. I saved the last four feet to do with the Milwaukee to see if it can do it. So let's put it to the test. Let's see what they do. If anything, they might be a little better because of the short bar where this bar is not as long. It actually uh, doesn't put as much strain on the gearbox. It's kind of just cutting right through it. The one thing I see with, by moving the handle back like this, your fingers are semi-close. If this was just a little bit longer on this base, Hold the Shindawa up. See how we got that extra foot? That would make this one perfect. Oh, let's see what it does. I'm not nuts about this uh, release mechanism, how you have to use two hands to do it. be like a part two you could say of the video I started earlier in the week today I'm gonna to be putting the Milwaukee kind of on a longevity test we got four shrubs directly behind me on the right I'm gonna be using this high output XC 8 amp hour battery to see if It'll take out those four. If it does, we're gonna pan the camera and try four more. I'm basically gonna run it today until it dies. And uh, this would kind of simulate just an average house, you know? Total, I have nine shrubs. They're about four foot diameter on each one. It normally takes around a quarter tank of fuel on the Shindawa. If the Milwaukee can't, trim all the shrubs, I've got the Shindawa to finish the job. Lock and load. And starting it so it's a fresh clock. Fresh clock, here we go.
have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. We still have three quarters of the battery. Three quarters of the battery. Let's see where we're at on the time. Nine minutes, 33 seconds. Is that too close? So, so far we're at nine minutes, 33 seconds. I'm gonna set the camera up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Actually, you know, maybe I won't. I'll just leave it running. I'm just gonna move the camera over and uh, we'll get going on these other ones. It's kind of like a bonus round. Okay, that didn't take more than 30 seconds. We're gonna hit it again. Um, got some other shrubs. If, I, if we don't get them all done, if we don't run it down in those five, I got those two right in front of the walkway that are overgrown, need to come down, so. <laughs> They got them all done. I mean, I've still got two bars on the battery. My mind has literally just been blown. I did not think that this Milwaukee would be able to trim the entire front. So we're gonna go into a bonus round here. I've got two of the uh, snowball bushes right up front. I'm gonna move the camera and they're overgrown, and we're gonna cut them to the ground. We'll see if we can uh, strain this sucker, but I might not be able to uh, run the battery down all the way. I don't know. So you got turtle speed and a rabbit, you know, indicating you're going fast. I'm in rabbit speed. And this, uh, this is holding right up. I know I stated it a second ago, but I'm impressed. That took me total of 23 minutes to cut those nine shrubs. I'm impressed. 24 minutes, 30 seconds. We're going to take those snowball bushes to the ground just about. Yeah. So this is our... didn't even have to use the AH-231. I'm impressed. I mean, this did an awesome job. We made it through the bonus round. I mean, we cut all nine of the shrubs and the two overgrown ones right in the front. I mean, what do y'all think? Do you think it's time to get rid of these gas ones? I mean, these have their advantages. Look at the bar length. I've got about a 30 inch bar on this one versus maybe a 24, 20, maybe a 20. You know, this, this one has been modified too. You know, normally they come with a much longer shaft on them, but it really wears on your shoulders using that. And I wouldn't even say this is exactly safe being a foot away from the cutting edge 
you just have to know to always keep your hand on this. But if Milwaukee made one like this, thank you. If you made one with this shaft a little bit longer, so your hands are away, you can, uh, you see with the Shindawa, we got about 18 inches from the, from the blades. Shindawa is also one hand to articulate it. So the Shindawa weighs about the same. I wouldn't say it weighs the same. It's a little heavier. Um, but I could see myself switching to a, uh, you know, a battery system like this. Just because it got the same results down, I don't smell like exhaust. I don't have to worry about mixing the gas and the oil. I mean, I'm still on half charge. Half charge on this battery. So, I don't really know how long it would go. I mean, that was almost 25 minutes straight of using this. So, I don't know. Well, that's gonna finish up this comparison between the two. The Shindawa AH-230 and this little uh, Milwaukee brushless system. So in case you wanted to know, the, the power head, here's the model. Um, it looks like a 2825 slash 20 power head. So I'm guessing this can be used like on a weed eater also. Um, but yeah, Milwaukee, why don't you come out with a short one like this? And I think you'd sell a lot of them to commercial people. Anyway, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you would, if you like this, give me a thumbs up and uh, follow the channel.